Um, I would like to start with a quote uh, of Friedrich Nietzsche. It's, my, it's a favorite quote of me. Uh, there are no facts, only interpretations. Um, and that's exactly uh, what um, I want to tell you today. And with this uh, quote, I want to answer a big question. And my central question is, uh, do we, uh, should we take action or not? Now, I'm going to uh, disappoint you right away because I will not give you the answer. You have to um, make up your own answer. I'm sorry for that. But I would like to start with that quote because it's about um, interpretation. It's about perspectivism. That's how um, Nietzsche is calling it. Everybody has his own perspective of looking at the world. And that's why I would like to refer to this uh, metaphor. Everybody is wearing a pair of glasses. Also, the people who don't have glasses actually are wearing glasses without knowing it, maybe. Because everybody is looking at the world with his own filter. Right. And I can tell you even more. That filter, once you share a certain filter, we call that culture. That is culture. Now, if you observe culture, you will see that it's a sort of iceberg, an iceberg with a top uh, that is visible above the surface. Um, you can compare it with, for instance, people's behavior, if you want. But um, you will not understand that culture until the moment you dive into the ocean, until the moment you dive into that culture, you have to become wet, <laughs> if, if you understand me, to understand what culture means, what that, why certain behavior occurs. So then people will explain you the rules, for example, of how you have to participate in that culture. That's the easy part. They can explain you. But if you really want to understand that culture, you have to dive deeper, and then you will find that there is a third uh, piece very deep into the ocean. We call that values, things like that. You cannot explain everything. You have to be in that culture to completely understand what's happening there. That's my metaphor. It's not my metaphor, I have to admit it. It's the metaphor of Dr. Bennett, uh, who is describing health but I want to uh, use it to describe culture. Now, if you have a clear view of what culture means, you can also compare it with a sort of onion. Yeah, with an onion, in fact. Because every onion has layers, and if you peel off every layer, you will see that at the end there is, what is it at the end? Nothing. Indeed, there is no solid core. There is no essence just like there is no essence in you. And that's why I think that a non-essentialistic, a non-essentialist approach would be very useful to look at culture. And then I would like to um, use a quote of Edwin Hoffman, who is saying that you have to work with the effects of your communication not with your intentions. It's even not relevant. That's what I'm adding. It's not relevant to refer to your intentions because people will even become more mad once you try to explain your intentions. Um, I will give an example to demonstrate that because you will not believe me, but if I give you a good example, maybe it's uh, easier to understand. The example I want to give you is something with what happened last week, recently in the news. It's Gucci, it's about Gucci, who thought that um, a new product would be very fashionable. Um, at the moment, it's about a s sort of sweater, a um, balaclava sweater, that's the name. And it looks like this. People were very offended by this product. They get a lot of complaints. I don't know if you see why, but a lot of people saw the link with 
blackface. I don't have time right now to explain that element, blackface, I cannot explain it, but it's not about the fact that, um, it's just about the fact that it's offending, that's the most important thing. And then you have different options to react to that. I will give you two options. Gucci could say, okay, apparently we offended you, but that was not our intention. We never tried to do that, and we were not aware of it. It's not, it's not uh, nothing about racism. We didn't want to offend you, so I'm sorry. Don't feel bad, don't feel mad, don't feel bad. Um, no problem. People will feel even more offended by that because you don't take action. You just wash yourself clean. You're talking about yourself. Another option is, I'm sorry. We were not aware that you would be offended. It's not, it has nothing to do with racism or something. It was not our intention. I'm sorry that we offended you. And that's why, since we know that you are offended right now, we'll pull back the article from the market because we don't want you to be offended. We don't want to offend you. So we pull back the article from the market. And that's exactly what Gucci did. Now, Gucci was not alone. Katy Perry did exactly the same. Until here, quite easy, because it's business, right? You have clients, once you notice that clients are offended, you want to prevent that, you pull back the article, no problem. Now, what if it's a little bit more difficult? What if it's about your tradition? Same issue, same question. Black peat. Black peat. It's a hot item in, especially in the Netherlands, but also a little bit in Belgium. What should we do with black peat? It's racism, right? No, we grow up with that tradition and we were innocent as kids. Now we are grown up and we want to pass it to the next generation without any harm. We don't have a bad intention. So, hey, don't feel offended. This is just who we are. This is our tradition. Right? Or do we have to say, I'm sorry? Apparently, time has changed. There are more filters through which the world is being seen because of the internet, because of social media. So a lot, of, a lot more people are watching that tip of the iceberg. And they are interpre interpreting what they see and they are offended by it. Now we know that. What should we do? Should we throw away our tradition? I will not give you that answer, but I'm just asking the question. Tradition is not just a product on a shelf in a supermarket, and that makes it difficult. It's up to you to decide. Thank you.